Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time for my final and one of my favorite videos of the month. The show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around to see what beautiful creations arrived in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. One of the videos that made it back onto my channel this year is my monthly show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. This is when I stop by to share a look with you at what I got in my P.O. box for the month. Sometimes these are sheet load cards, sometimes they're cards just because. And today, I even have a little package to open up. Now, if you ever want to send in a card, whether it is for show us your sheet load or just because, my P.O. box address is at the bottom of the description box below. If you're going to send in a sheet load card, I do have an updated show us your sheet load guidelines video. Sending in a card for this end of the month video is one way that you can do that. But there are some updated guidelines as to how many cards you can send in and the limitation on what month you can use. Today, we might see a few cards using January 2024 just because of the way my trips to the post office fell. I'm super excited to see what's in these envelopes. Are you? Let's go ahead and open them up. The first card this month traveled across an ocean to get to me. And this is from Joan O of Denmark. This card is right up my alley with the rainbows and all of those pretty colors. Up next is an awesome thanks card from Jay of Wisconsin. I love the background and that shiny sentiment, which unfortunately you can't see on camera. If you don't follow Jay's channel, he is at Craft by Jay here on YouTube. Chris T. from Oregon also sent me a beautiful thank you card with some shine on it, and on the inside was a super kind note. It is all about the shiny thank you notes this month. The card on screen was sent to me by Johnielle, who has been a longtime subscriber and channel member. Once again, there was such a lovely note inside. And Johnielle, I am still thinking of you and your family. James G. from Minnesota is a new card maker who has been enjoying sheet load of cards. He used the February 2024 sheet load to inspire his card. At first glance, I thought those were bookshelves on the side, but the paper is actually Disney related. I love it. On a total random note, I just signed up for a Disney swap on my friend Danny's Facebook swap group, so this will be some inspiration maybe. Barbara H. from Illinois sent me a beautiful rainbow just because card, again with another amazing note on the inside, and a lovely stitched ornament. I'll definitely be putting this with my Christmas tree so I can hang it up next year. Alice R. from Colorado used some not-too-shabby goodies for her February 2024 sheet load card. I love how she has replaced the semicircle with that ephemera. And I wanted to show you how she has decorated the inside, too. Up next is a card from my friend Tracy in Kansas. I love how she has used a February 2024 for a birthday card and the popped-up little flowers. Charlotte B. from Texas has sent me another one of her works of art. This card base is made out of handmade paper and she drew the bird on the front. I also love the addition of those gold gilding flakes. Mary F. from Washington sent me this beautiful card that had such a thoughtful note on the inside too. Not only did she decorate the front of her card with some stenciled circles, but she also did the same thing on the envelope. 
This next card from Susie N in Iowa definitely made me smile big. I love that rainbow and how she has replaced the strip that goes all the way across the card front with that tiny one on her focal point. Susie, I hope that you and your daughter had a great time at Hairspray. Jessica N from Florida sent in this example using February 2024 and it is so beautiful. Another one that you can't catch all of the sparkle and shine on camera. Paula R. of Indiana used this month's printable to create some Valentine's Day card. I love those pattern papers she chose and that cute little stitch semicircle. Elisa R. from Nevada sent me this beautiful heartfelt card with another kind note inside. I love that stamped flourish. I don't know about you, but I used to have to buy every flourish stamp that was out there. Do you get those emails from the post office that tells you what is coming to your mailbox? Well, I get them for my home and my P.O. box. And I saw I had a package coming from scrapbook.com. And I had just ordered something myself and I'm like, oh no, I gave them the wrong address. But then my package showed up, so I kept wondering what was in the P.O. box. So let's find out together. It was a gift from my friend Sandra of Washington. She sent me a magnetic dye brush kit, which if you didn't see one of my recent Crafty Tuesdays when I made the cards that are up on screen now, I really could have used this. I didn't realize it when I decided to use this for the cards that I would have to poke out like a hundred little stitching holes and everybody was like, you need one of those dye brushes. And I told a little story about why I didn't have one. Well, Sandra has fixed that. So I'm definitely ready for the next time I use that dye or similar ones like it. Thank you so much, Sandra. I'll think of you every time I use this. Now, if you missed that live where I made the cards, I will have it linked down in that description box below. Wow. I always get beautiful creations, but there was something about this month and the extra special notes that really touched my heart. Thank you so much, you guys, to everybody who took the time to send in a card, whether there was a note or not, or if it was just a quick hello. I always love seeing what you create. Thank you as well to Sandra for my special new tool. I can't wait to have to use it. Hopefully it's on a live so you can watch me try it out in real time. Until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.